If you have a hot car but live in a cold weather climate, repeat exposure to old man winter can really do a number on your beloved ride. So what to do? Well, if you plan to winterize it for the season, remember, before it flurries, you may want to hurry. First things first, thoroughly clean your car inside and out. Consider throwing some moisture absorbing desiccant packets on the floor. You can even deploy one of these uh, household moisture absorbers or baking soda in a pinch. Like in your basement, moisture and mold in your car is the enemy. Next, consider adding a fuel stabilizer. Now, fuel stabilizers help prevent corrosion in your fuel lines and your engine. You'll want to add it to a nearly full tank of gas and run the engine briefly afterwards to help circulate it. You may also want to consider getting an oil and filter change, topping off all your other fluids, and making sure your car has enough antifreeze. The next thing to think about are your tires and your suspension. Now, you can overinflate your tires a little bit because tires will lose some pressure throughout the course of the winter, but if you do that, make sure you get them to the right pressure before you drive the car come springtime. Now, if you really want to alleviate suspension and tire wear, you can put your car up on jack stands, but procedures for doing that vary a lot from car to car, so make sure you know exactly how to do it on your particular model and only do it on a flat concrete surface. Next, think about your car's battery. You'll want to remove and store it or connect it to a trickle charger. Keeping a battery uh, charged prolongs its life. If you do remove it and store it, make sure you keep it in a warm part of your house because cold batteries can freeze and crack. Follow all these steps and your car should be able to dispatch winter just fine and maybe keep a little extra spring in its step for years to come.